All right. Uh, this hydraulic cylinder in here that raises and lowers the reel. Uh, we keep finding a puddle underneath of it. And the bean dust was stuck to it so bad that you couldn't tell where it was coming from. I got it cleaned off here a little bit and it's just running down the front side. So it's time to get it cleaned up, of course. It didn't leak last winter when we didn't need it, so. Uh, we got a 12 ton bottle jack in there. Yeah, that's the one I rebuilt. And uh, I got a two by four stuck in there. Not this thing's that heavy, it just, if it comes down to my fingers, it'll pinch them, so. Anyhow, I got it propped up there far enough that I can pull that pin out. And uh, I gotta crawl up here on the inside. Dust is everywhere. All right, I'm gonna have to get a set of side cutters and pull that thing out. These needle nose pliers ain't gonna get it, so I'll bring it back. All right, I got that pin out. It's here. I just had to pull a pull a cotter key out of it. Pulled it out. Ah, uh, this chain was loose. I moved the tensioner down on that. Tightened that up. Somewhere in here amongst all this bean dust is a fitting. Pull that off. A little hose up around here someplace so it doesn't leak. here a couple of quarter inch bolts I'm not so sure ouch it hurts when you run your fingers into a sprocket especially an old wore out one nasty one right there oh boy gonna bleed I'm hoping that's threaded on the inside Let's see if they back out of there All right, let me get this out of here. I'll pull that pin out because there's a pin right there in the bottom of that cylinder. And then we'll get the cylinder out and get it up in the vise. So I'll bring it back. All right, we got the cylinder out. It was quite frozen. 
bottom here. I chucked it in the lathe and took sandpaper to it and polished it up. Cleaned this groove up. You can see where we grabbed it with a vice grip. So that's good to go. Um, the cylinder has some issues here. And that's scores in the chrome rod. I don't know if that'll clean up or not. We're going to chuck it in the lathe and polish it as best we can. But first we got to get it apart. Uh, take the fitting out. And the reason I'm doing this is we got an inch of rain last night and uh, the beans are a little bit damp in the field so you don't see it you don't see it there it is You gotta move that snap ring down in there. Alright, let me set you up here. Ain't this neat? We got a own little magnet mount we can set you right here on the vise. While I go down in there and pick that snap ring, dude. Pick that snap ring into the other groove. As you can see, there's nothing up here to dig out. There's a wiper seal here, but that's not what seals it. This here is just a bleed screw. It doesn't hold anything. What we got to get is and I don't have a flashlight down here. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Where's it at? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, snap ring groove right there. The little tiny snap ring on the left has got to go in the big snap ring groove on the right. So hold on, I'll set you up. Put you up here. Um, let's set you up here someplace. See what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get up there. Hmm. or on the bench so don't complain I'm gonna need something different than that
There we go. Sometimes it's a challenge to get them started. Once you get them started, they go. Snap brings in a little groove in there. And then, just pulls out of there just like that. See the snap ring? Normally it's in that thin groove on the left. And you pull it out of there. Now, uh, let's see what we got in here for a seal. Back them over and pick. Oh, it's a seal. It ain't very good. So, all right, we'll uh, have to get a seal at work tomorrow. So. Yeah, that's why it's leaking. We'll polish this rod and put her back together. So, all right, thanks for watching. All right, kind of loud in here. Uh, this is the last uh, two or three acres here of beans. Uh, this little field's about three acres. There's another two acres down here on the other side of the woods. Uh, I hope to finish it up. Today's Saturday, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, yeah, I got the rest of my 20 acre piece done and a couple of little pieces of round hole. This field's the furthest away from home already. Um, yeah, it was eight acres on the other side here and I got it done this morning. I get this finished up, I hope the machine holds together long enough to get this done. And uh, I can be out of here tonight. Uh, the landlord here is kind of... Uh, he's religious and he doesn't want me working on Sunday. And uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow anyhow, so I'm hoping to get done tonight. Uh, thank the Lord everything's been working good. I did plug it up a couple of times. But, uh, it's my own dump fall. Everything's being pretty good. Uh, like Logan said in his comment, this dang head if you don't have it down. And, uh, it feeds really good if you get her down where she's supposed to be. But if you get it up a little bit, she starts slugging and, uh, that's the hard part. So. Anyhow, I'm hoping to finish this field up today. Finish all my beans. Uh, tomorrow night, we, or tomorrow, we'll probably put the corn head on. Uh, I don't think I have any corn that's ready to go. It's still kind of green yet. So, anyhow, I'm really hoping to get the beans done tonight or today. It is the sunshine. It's really kind of pain going the other direction. That way I can see in the head, but this way I'm in the shadow of the combine.
watching and uh, hopefully we can get on to some corn.